The computer science industry in Toronto and in Canada is facing a crisis. In less than two years, they need hundreds of thousands of new trained employees to fill jobs, though there simply aren't enough qualified people to fill those vacancies. Now, today, there's one event taking place filled with buzzing young minds that's trying to inspire the next generation. I'm seeing excitement. I'm seeing a lot of high energy, and uh, they're really just engaged. Engaged isn't always the adjective used to describe grade five and six students. They'll stick them in an interactive, informative setting with an iPad in their hands, and that's exactly what was witnessed today. Definitely inspiring. Yeah! 80 plus Toronto Catholic elementary students were given a quick lesson on how to code. They were also given the opportunity to build their own app. It's a field trip with purpose. Give kids who otherwise might not have the opportunity at school or at home a chance to play around with the latest in technology and maybe, just maybe, spark their interest in computer science. It's really fun. Yeah. Like a 10, a scale of 1 to 10, a 10. That's music to tech companies' ears. By 2021, Canada will need an additional 216,000 tech workers. We're on pace to fill only a quarter of those jobs. It's an industry also short on female employees. When you look at those working in STEM jobs, science, technology, engineering and math, only 23% are women. We need women to be represented in this in this field. Today's event was hosted by Hacker Galley, charitable organization that works to inspire young women to pursue a career in the technology world. There's a recent study that found more than 80% of Canadians, when they thought of a computer scientist, they thought of a man. Is that part of the problem? I think that is part of the problem, seeing yourself in this field, like having girls be able to see themselves as a developer. And when they think about developer, changing that perspective. Go for it, because you can do anything as long as you put your art into it. I've never really learned it before, and it looks very interesting. Another potential issue, today's coding workshop is an extracurricular activity, not a formal course. I think that coding is a really good experience for me and all my friends. Even with the overwhelming demand for computer science jobs, the provincial government still hasn't mandated coding in elementary schools. The current plan is to only roll it out in high school business courses. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.